I would like to do a couple upgrades. Hopefully they're gonna be rather simple than complicated. So I got this basic dash and it has 126,000 miles on it. Um, I would like to replace it with this kind of upgraded dash with a, a large, a fairly large dis display. As well, I would like to upgrade the steering wheel because mine is mine is bad so it's absolutely horrible and in a, in addition uh, the buttons on this steering wheel control won't control this cluster display because it needs the you know kind of joystick most likely I will swap the front lens and, and keep my old lens because those lens are pretty scratched while mine are you know fairly decent and um, but it's gonna happen after i'm gonna confirm that the mileage on this cluster was programmed very close to the mileage on this cluster because i got this cluster uh, purchased with 90,000 miles and I uh, programmed the miles hopefully I didn't check it yet hopefully it's gonna be 126,000 miles as well as an, on my old cluster so removal should be fairly simple <coughs> couple bolts in the front then you remove the you know bezel around and you'll have you know few more bolts holding the cluster in place I'm gonna get back to you once the cluster once once the old cluster is out let's try it again uh, looks like the cart on my gopro is dying uh, but i'll try to do it quickly so i uh, programmed the you know replacement cluster with this big display to the mileage which is supposed to be same or very close to the one that i have on my original one so let's check it out as you remember as you saw it like a couple of moments ago it was uh, 126 and uh, 78 miles or so or very close to it I don't recall let's check it out what we have on this cluster right now after the programming because I did not check it yet All right. oh nice pictures 125 987 which is 100 miles less than originally i guess it should do it anyway um but i mean it's it's looks like it's working let's let's try to start the truck all right got the fuel rpm is working How's the shifter doing? Yes. 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 So the... The gears are shifting. Okay. Um, I cannot press OK button because I still have the old steering wheel. It's gonna be my next step, you know, to, to do. How's the all-wheel drive working? Or working if... Okay, four and four, four by four shift in progress. Four by four, four, by four high. Uh, nothing is showing in regards to the differential lock or maybe it's just when we have four low. Let's, let's try it out. Shift to N. Okay, it's four four by four low now.
Okay, I don't see anything happening on the display in regards to the rear diff locking. So it's possible that the class needs to be coated though. Four by four high. Two, four by two. All right, it works. Works for me. For now. The next step I'm gonna replace the steering wheel and we'll see if it's gonna be able to control you know the display because well the cruise control is working info buttons are not working setup oh setup is kind of working but I can't do anything I still can actually I, I still can do something using that <laughs> but it's very it's very inconvenient <laughs> all right let's replace the steering wheel the battery is disconnected the airbag is removed uh, to remove the airbag there are three points actually not like usually two points but three points and you stick your screwdriver into you know some you know holes for example to disconnect the lower anchor you see i am prying with the screwdriver to the uh, spring same thing the left uh anchor In install the screwdriver into the hole and trying to get to the spring which is sometimes a little tricky for this one actually it's better to use the screwdriver with a more white um, head better chance to okay now you can probably see right here same thing from the other side so it's a t50 uh, Torx bit to remove the center center bolt and after that I'm gonna swap the steering wheel let's free up the way that's it's pretty tight from what I can tell all right it had a blue thread locker and I'm gonna need to disconnect one of the connectors which is I guess this one and now I should carefully I think okay the string wheel is nearly straight now okay So the airbag wires are the only ones that left here. So I put this wheel aside. I put new one in, making sure. The airbag wires still there. All right, wheel installed. I'm gonna put a blue thread uh, locker on the bolt again, and I'm gonna tighten it and assemble it in the reverse order. Let me connect, actually, ah, yeah. So this is the connector for the buttons. I just connected the gray one. And then, 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 that's it. By the way, the single got a lot of play here so yeah all right um, let's say when I was removing the uh, steering wheel from Mercedes it was sit it was sitting pretty tight absolutely no play right here it's 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 wiggly <laughs> but that's fine all right uh, so yeah I, I, I'm not gonna shoot the process of putting it back together it's it's pretty obvious I'm gonna 
turn on I'm gonna turn on the video again once we'll be able to once I'll be able to start the car and check the operation of this joystick okay the cluster is finally replaced looks much better than the stock one um, I will tinker with the software to um, update some settings for this cluster because um, if I'm not mistaken it had some settings let's say for the how it calls remote start which my vehicle is not equipped with uh, like like this one um, so it should not have this function or I can uh, purchase like some kits and um, upgrade this truck with a, with a, a remote start but we'll see and I double check uh, when I have this thing pulled on my old cluster I would see this light like the rear differential lock light on this cluster it does not come on it's 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 very possible that this cluster came off the uh, two-wheel drive car which does not have this functionality however on the other hand uh, if I put it on on a four uh, four by four, it's it's actually you know shows four by four. So I am a little bit confused about this one yet. Uh, so it's probably the matter with the settings too. And so yeah, and the wheel steering wheel is replaced. I had a little hiccup when I you know was replacing the wheel. So remember, I was talking about the blue uh, uh, thread locker. So I went to my garage to look up for one. And when I came back, I grabbed the steering wheel in order to jump into the truck. And the steering wheel was not, uh, you know, properly attached yet because I still was didn't put the bolt in. But however, I did connect all the connections except the airbag. Uh, there were no airbags here. So I pulled the steering wheel. It flew off the shaft, and the how it calls the the clock spring just blow <laughs> blow apart. And uh, it took me about an hour or so to put this uh, clock spring back together it was not fun uh, so <laughs> really I should have put this uh, bolt before I you know jump uh, out of the uh, truck because literally like 30 seconds later I'm jumping in back grabbing the steering wheel <laughs> and blew this freaking clock spring uh, thankfully uh, everything looks to be working so uh, horn is working those buttons are working uh, there is no airbag light which is also a part of the you know clock spring so looks like the clock spring is fine I put it in the center position because my steering wheel was in the center position so uh, you always need to make sure uh, the clock spring is in a good reference to the position of the wheels and steering wheel otherwise you will uh, tear it apart uh, other than that I don't know yet what to do with all this wiring mess so this is the module for the you know lights on the roof and this uh, was the radio like I, I don't know what kind of radio you know those services are you know using to communicate so I don't know because I still have the antenna on on the roof well, if I would like to get rid of this wiring or maybe to purchase the radio so I can you know hear you know what the people are talking about <laughs> around like let's say in the trucks or, or, or something so that's that's another thing but other than that the truck is ready to roll I would say very nice truck it requires some cleaning um, I don't know on the future list for this truck I'm 
considering to put the different you know radio maybe like with a touch screen i don't know yet uh also the headlights are the basic ones halogens it's a mess you cannot see anything at night so um the nice set of led aftermarket headlights which really got a you know proper beam uh, so it doesn't blind you know oncoming traffic and and, and so uh, the proper set would go around 1100 bucks or even more uh, for the good aftermarket uh, set i am debating on this one um i'm waiting for the mirror to come in uh first of all i'm going to replace the glass because the my my glass is you know kind of shattered and i am all i'm also considering putting a, like a 2500 or or f250 style mirrors like where you have normal mirrors when you have the normal mirrors as well as that like uh how it goes those spherical mirrors in, in the bottom which are much 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 better than this stock uh, the set of those goes around 250 for the aftermarket i don't know how i feel about having aftermarket mirror uh, assemblies i don't know um that's it that's it all right guys uh thank you much for watching and hopefully i'll, I'll see you shortly